Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Before heading into the dome there, one thing I want to do is equip some fire elemental weapons, especially for Waka and Oran there. Uh, Titus, I still want to leave on his capture weapon. Even I just really want the first strike. That's really all I care about. There's no... Well, I mean, there are monsters in there, but there's no monsters you can capture in there. So I wouldn't uh, really worry about that. Okay, we got all that stuff, so I think we're all set and ready to go. Yep, how's it going? Journeyer of the long road, name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear, show me the long road you have traveled. Or I could just look into your soul. You have journeyed well. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to Who is that guy anyway? And bring your guardians with you. Go. Yes. Never seen a summoner with so many guardians, but sure, why not? Wonder what's inside here anyway. Psychotic robot zombie strippers? No. No, Unaleska is not a robot. Let's take a look around. Whoa. Lots of these power flies around here. If it might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. Uh, you didn't do a very it good is job. The highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. I thought guardians were supposed what? to protect the summoner, what not sacrifice themselves. All predecessors. Hmm? She said Lady Yoken. I wonder what they were talking she... about. Wait. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Summoner Yoken? It's probably this dome not is important. filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here forever. These are the souls of all the people you killed while playing Blitzball, Titus. No. No, just kidding. Uh-oh. Yeah, you see, this is why I wanted Titus in with first strike there. Uh, okay, so let's bring in Yuna there. If you have someone that has the use command, and we want to use Dream Powder on them. Yeah. Yeah, I know where she takes the grenade out of. I know. I know. But anyway, yeah, just put them to sleep, and... Then they can't shoot you, or use flamethrowers on you, or, or anything like that. Okay, so, uh, basically what you want to do with these guys is you want to steal candles of life from them. Uh, those will be very useful in one of the optional side quest dungeons. Uh, well, as opposed to one of the mandatory side quest dungeons. No, no, they're all optional. Uh, let's see, we got... Okay, Riku, she stole... I think everyone's stolen something by this point. But, uh... Oh, I don't need to do that. I already stole from him anyway. I mean, I could have gotten more, but... Okay, let's see, uh... Yeah, just... Get your participation Moogle. credit. Next. Just sit there with your nice Moogle Dial there, Lulu. As you wish. I think Titus is pretty much the only guy I've got who can overkill these guys, because he's just got so much strength. It's ridiculous. Hey, hey all right. Overkill. Ooh, nice. And let's see, let's bring in the fast party members again. Now, you want to keep an eye on the right of your mini-map there. Before you fight this guy. Okay, so, uh, just like the boss that we fought before, you want to use Provoke on him. Get that going, and then he's pretty much a pussycat. Uh, you also, let's see, yeah, I want to get Armor Break on him, so that way, well, I can kill him faster. So, let's do that. Yeah, otherwise, you're not going to be able to pierce his armor. Uh, let's see. 
see if I can't get dark to uh, affect him. Not that it really matters, but you can't afflict it. But yeah, if you're fighting him normally, then afflicting dark on him might matter, but no, I'm not. I'm just using uh, Provoke. And just like the boss, all he's going to do is cut your HP in half, round it down, over and over and over and over. Uh, let's see. Who did the stealing? Was that Riku or Yuna? I think it was Riku. Because, well, she was already there. Okay, Yuna, you've done your thing. And even if it wasn't uh, Riku, she's already done with her sphere grid. So I, I don't really care. Later on, there will be a teleporter pad at the entrance to this place, so you don't have to walk all the way here. Again. Uh. So, how shall we do this? Yeah, I didn't figure that out the first time I played the game, but... Oh, wow. Well, not the end of the world. Okay, let's see. Did Waka get a turn? Oh, yeah. He inflicted darkness. That's right. Well, might as well get uh, Waka and Riku back out in the lead there. And, you know what? Why don't you do a little bit of healing there? What the... Uh... Oh! Yeah, I was like, why didn't I heal for a lot more than that when I had... What was it? Uh, the alchemy weapon. But I didn't equip that on her. I, I, I had the capture weapon. But I suppose now there's nothing to capture anything in here. So, we might as well go for the... Alchemy? Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Passed it right up there. Yeah, strength doesn't really matter for Riku right now. In the post-game, strength for Riku matters a lot more, but main storyline, not so much. Uh, let's see. We're doing good on healing there. So let's head on back down. Yeah, that ramp's kind of tricky to see. It's... There's another one like that coming up here. Not this. Okay, we got that. Let's take a look at how we're doing. Okay, Titus should be... No, no, he's not close enough yet. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll do all the sphere gridding later. And after that battle, uh, I got a level 3 key sphere from the uh, Defender Z guy. Which, uh, you know what? Let's put that to use right now. I wasn't going to because you don't... I mean, we're going to pick up a level 3 key sphere coming up here, but... Well, I just happened to win one, so all right. Do that, and then we can start getting a lot more strength on. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the reasons why I put all these level four key or level four strength nodes right next to each other there. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, yeah, you're still a little ways from getting your ability, so. Uh, but I do want to uh, get that strength for on there because that'll be really nice for overkilling. Who's that? No! Mother, no! I don't want you to become a fave! There is no other way. What Use do you mean, me become a fave? Only then will the people accept you. I would think you would have to become an aura. Or aura. Aura. Or aeon. Well, aeon's better than an aeon anyway. Left. But hey, Unileska cannot make you into aeon. Or can she? Oh. I didn't think about that. Anyway. I wonder what that was all about anyway. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. We're just here to get the Aeon, that's all. But I do want to rearrange my party a little bit. Uh, let's see. Tita still needs more. Nuts. Okay, now, finally, after that battle, we got the sphere levels that I need for Titus there. To learn the almighty... Uh... Game? Game? The Almighty Quick Hit! Yeah! Not quite as good as in the original version of the game, but still really, really good. Uh, basically, what it is, is it's essentially a normal physical attack that costs uh, 36 MP, up from 12 in the original, as I recall. But yeah, so 36 MP for a normal physical attack, but uh, you have very little wait time before your next attack. So, like, there's different ranks, from what I heard, for each command that you use. And, well, a normal physical attack is has a rank 3 wait time, whatever that means. I don't know. But that's just what I 
I saw on a list somewhere. Uh, quick Hit is a rank 2 action, so you won't have to wait as long before getting your next turn. Uh, in the original version of the game, uh, Quick Hit, like I said, cost 12 MP, but it was a rank 1 action, so it was just obscenely fast. Still really, really good here, but not as obscenely powerful as before. Still totally worth it, though. You get haste, and then all that stuff, and then a bunch of quick hits going, and, I mean, your enemy's never going to get a turn. Well, not literally, but, I mean, you'll be really, really fast. But anyway, I want to use those skill spheres to teach quick hit to Oran. And... Waka! There we go. Eventually, I will want to give it to Riku as well. But she doesn't have the strength to really take advantage of it until doing some more advanced sphere gridding, like outside of her sphere grid. So, yeah, not a whole lot we can do with that right now. But yeah, so Titus and Riku, they're pretty much done. Although, I may want to uh, get that one strength note that I missed earlier for him. Uh, let's see, how are we doing? Yeah, we're doing good. Now look on the left side of the map there. Who are those guys? Eh, I wouldn't worry about them. Probably not important. Ooh, another one. Nice. Alright. Uh, hmm? Hey, Braska. You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine, I said my piece. What, that's well, it? Haven't... No arguments? Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you die. Then you knew why did you go you on this journey then? Yes, but I... Just kind of I amused how <laughs> Jack just kind of rolls over. He's like, you don't have to do this. I yes, I do. Okay. Me, so. And I that's it. He, he doesn't, himself. like, try to convince him or anything. And lift the veil of sorrow covering spirit. You didn't Please do a very good job. D did none of the summoners before us know that Sin was coming back over and over again or something? They just say, oh yeah, go off and uh, defeat Sin. Uh, don't worry about him coming back over and over again for the next thousand years. Uh, nah, it's just a vicious rumor. I mean, it seems like everyone now knows about it, but like all these summoners' spirits that we're meeting up with are like, yeah, we'll defeat Sin and everything will be uh, great. Or calm, as it were. Ooh, one more for Oran, and I can get, well, six more strength there. So, yeah, that'll be really good for him. Let's see, there's a couple more enemies around here. And it looks like I'm not going to meet up with them. Oh, well. There's more of the robots that we saw back at uh, Bevel there. Those, there's that one floaty robot or whatever. Uh, just click, and there's the other one that kicks you out of battle or whatever or ejects you, or whatever. Uh, just use slow on them, and you'll be fine. They're really easy. But yeah, you can't capture anything. Hmm, I think there's another teleporter pad around here, somewhere the too. Ahead? Probably. Wish I knew about that before, here too. for the first time I played the game. Give me a break. <laughs> I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. All I got was you zombie fireworks. But, okay, well, let's, uh, let's see. How much time do we got here? Yeah, we got enough time. Uh, let's go do the cloister. Why not? How hard could it possibly be? Actually, this one's one of the easier ones. If not the easiest one. What, no mysterious cloister music this time around? I'm disappointed, game. Eh, not really. Uh-oh. We're playing Tetris now. I didn't come here prepared to play Tetris. But anyway, yeah, you see these uh, dots on the floor there? You step on them, you reveal Tetris blocks. And uh, I forget which one it is. That one? Haha! -ha! I knew it was one of the upper left two ones. I just forgot which one exactly. So, all right. So yeah, you do that. And now we got some pedestals here. 
Now, the one in the middle there, and the one in the middle over there, uh, don't worry about those for right now. But we do got some other puzzles to solve. And, not really a puzzle, but whatever. But anyway, if I can, uh, what you want to do is push one of the upper left, upper right, lower left, or lower right puzzles. Or pedestals, sorry. To unlock the puzzle in the next room here. And then you basically get to do the same thing. You gotta figure out uh, where all the puzzle pieces are. Fortunately, I already do. If you step on one of the wrong ones, you'll reveal well, the wrong block. And then you'll have to start all over. So, don't do that. Don't run around like I am. I mean, I, I know the solutions already. See, I think that's all. All right. Hmm, six of them. So yeah, just take your time, walk around. Don't accidentally step on one of the wrong ones there. At this In this room, we don't have to worry about that, but in the, other, the next room. I wonder what do, what uh, solving all these puzzles does anyway. Well, I guess we'll find out. Start here. A good idea. One thing you can notice is that you can walk around the edges there. So something you can use to your advantage a little bit. Now, all the floor tiles that light up like this, they'll always light up the same way every time. So once you figure out where they are, you don't have to worry about them again. Okay, slow down. Whoa, is that the one I want? Yes, it is. Okay. Phew. Well, I suppose I wasn't in any real danger, but still. And you can't fall off the edge here, so. So, not really a Tetris game, but I like Tetris. Dr. Mario was was cool too. Yeah, I liked all those kind of games, I guess. <laughs> now you're gonna have that song stuck in your head all day, viewers. <laughs> that was my plan all along. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, let's see. Okay, don't get distracted, H.G. Bailey. You're done tormenting your viewers. More than you usually do. Uh-huh. Okay, and two more. Okay, okay. careful. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see, this one. And this one. All right. Okay, now the last one is well, a little tricky, but we'll we'll get it. Uh, let's see that. One. Now, I mean, this is the last uh, one of these little Tetris puzzles that we got to solve, but okay, let's see. Yeah, there's still the other two pedestals that are around here. Okay, let's be careful. Don't want to risk screwing up. Okay, let's see. We go... This one, I think? Yes, okay. And then we got two of these up here. Okay, so far so good. Then we need another one of these. Yes! Okay, now I know what I'm doing. I think. Well, be careful. And these two. And I think I got it. Ha-ha! All right! I'm surprised I didn't screw any of those up. But okay, so, next thing we gotta do, gotta get these... 
uh, spheres into well, one of the or the two pedestals there. So you have two spheres here. We got two pe spheres there. Or uh, two pedestals here. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't think it matters which one you put into which, does it? No, no, doesn't matter. Or if it does, I just got lucky. Well, it went into the wall anyway, so, okay. Well, I guess if you're playing along with me, just do it the way I did there. I'm still paranoid about walking on those tiles with the lights. Just like walking on cracks in the sidewalk. Don't do it. Don't do it, viewers! Careful. But anyway, alright, so we got all six of them, but... Uh, what, what happened to the music? What is this, Chrono Cross? Huh? Oh. Well, what happened? What reward do, are we going to get for completing the Cloister of Trials here? Will we get the final Aeon for Yuna? Can we find a way to put an end to Sin's spiral of death once and for all? All shall be revealed next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.